Hi, my name is Aniara Matthews, and I'm the research services librarian for the Douglas and Henry Academic Centers. And today, I will be showing you how to use the guided search in Nexus Uni. Nexus Uni is perfect for students who major in business, law, mass communications, and even education. In Nexus Uni, you can search for news articles, law reviews and court cases, and also company information. So to get to Nexus Uni, I'm going to go to the library website, which is libraries.mercer.edu. And then on the home page, I'm going to go to databases A through Z. And once I'm on this page, I'm going to click on the letter N. And then I will scroll down until I see Nexus Uni, which is right here. And sometimes before you get to this page, you might have to log in in order to access it. So if you see a login page come up, then you would just type in your student ID number and the password that you use for a Canvas. Okay, so here is Nexus Uni, and this is what it looks like. So I'm going to use this guided search down here. So I want to search for news articles. And so to do that, I'm going to select news right here, which is already selected for me. And then I'm going to type in my keywords. So my keywords are going to be student loans. And I'm typing in my keywords in quotes so I get these words together in the search results instead of individually. And then I'm going to choose um, a date range. So I am going to go back within the last three months just to see what information has been written about or published on this topic, like any news articles. Um, but if you're looking for the most recent information, then you can probably go back within the last seven days or within the last 30 days. And now I'm gonna hit search. So now I have all these different news articles that have come up, which is a lot. <laughs> Um, so I want to get a smaller number of results, and there are different ways that I can do that. Um, so I can use these filters over here to the left. So I have all these different filters like location, my publication, or publication type. I can even search by like industry or subject, and I can also use the search within results filter as well. Um, but for now, we're going to use publication type. So I get like all these different options for publication type, but I want newspapers. So I'm going to click news. I'm going to click on that option. And so now I have a lot less results. I have about a thousand, which is so much better than 10,000. And so let's say I wanted to search for a particular like news publication. I can do that as well. So I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to go to sources. And now I will get like a list of news publications that I can look into if I wanted to. So let's say I want to look into the New York Times. So I'm going to select that. And I get 94 articles from the New York Times like on my topic. So let's say I wanted to have like a more specific search and I wanted to look for information about like private loans within the topic of student loans. So I'm going to use the search within results filter right here. So I'm going to type in private loans. And again, I'm using quotes just so I get this phrase together instead of separately. And then I will hit search. And so now I have like three news articles that come up in the New York Times that discuss student loans, but that also discuss private loans. And so here they are right here. And if I wanted to um, go back to the results that I had before, I can do that as well. I can just click on this X right here to take off that, um, that filter. And so now I'm back to where I started. Okay, so let's say I wanted to read one of these articles. I can do that in two ways. I can click on the title or I can click on this preview button right here. So I'm going to click this preview button. And when I click on the preview button, I can get like the article right here and I can kind of just skim through it to see if it has any relevant information to me that may be interesting. Or I can click on the title. 
And then I will be directed to the full text of the article as well. Okay, so if I wanted to save any articles, I can do that. Um, the different ways that I can do that, I can have the option to print any articles that I like. I can email articles to myself. And I can also download articles too. And I can also send articles to like my Google Drive folder or my OneDrive folder as well. Okay, so if I wanted to get a citation um, for any of these news articles, I can do that. So I can click on the articles that I want a citation for. Then I can click on this icon right here that says export citations. So I can export the citation in different ways. So I can export it in an in a RIS file um, through our citation manager or a citation tool like EndNote or Zotero. Or I can get the citation formatted in like APA, MLA, etc. So I can click on either one of those options. And then up under here, it says, how do you want to receive your citation? So um, I will just say download. And then I can select the format that I want the article, uh, that I want the citation to be in. So I'll just leave it at APA. And then I will hit download. And then it will download the file for me as a PDF. Well, that marks the end of this tutorial for Nexus Uni. If you have any other questions or need more help, you can definitely contact us. So you can go to our Ask a Librarian page and you can reach us in all kinds of ways. You can live chat with us. You can schedule a research consultation with us. You can email us. And you can also have a Zoom with us, and these are our hours for Zoom. Or you can also call us. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial about how to use the guided search in Nexus Uni. And again, if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you for watching.